How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph with Customs? Vlog time. We've got one full chopper SNS, man. And a nice little dino. Let's do it. So, we're getting there with this. I've not filmed much of making it because I need to fucking get on. Basically, we've got this 15 mil it is. <coughs> I thought it was 16, but it's 15. 15 mil stainless, and we've turned the end down to 12 mil, so it sits in this socket like the existing one did. Um, <coughs> and we've bent it. We've cold formed it over the old record bender, bless it. Dusted that off. And we brought it up to the V. Take the backpack, pad, sorry. And so on and so forth. Happy days. So the, there's a couple of fucking issues. One is, these bosses don't point, they're not perpendicular. They don't go straight up and down, so it, it binds. This one's more on the wonk as well. This one bends in more than the other one. So it, it was hard to get it matched, but we're there now. Um, and what I'm done is, what I'm done is turn down these little stainless bosses, yeah? With an M8 thread, and then I've die-chemmed. There we go. I've, I've die-chemmed them and put them in position and marked a line where they need to be. And you've got just a good nut's worth of uh, threaded boss once I've machined this end off, and that machined off bit ends up, uh, if it'll focus, ends up socketing around, fitting around the, uh, the, like that, fucking happy day, so I'm going to take that in place, and then double check this one, I think we're pretty fucking good on the size of it, I'll take it over to the milling machine, where we hold it in a v-block, can we use a 16 mil, which five eighths, five eighths cutter. Look, and we'll put that just like that with that little bit sticking out past the mark, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Um, we'll put that in there, and we have we put a piece in this end as well. I can't do it one handed, so fuck it. Um, there we go. Happy days, now when we clamp that hole, everything's sweet, the device don't fucking go off to one side and fuck things up. And we machine that out, <clears throat> nice and steady every bit of oil. So we'll get that one machined out, that, um, to get them two both tacked in, and that's the fucking sissy bar done. I'm not going to bother putting a bracing piece across it. Because, first of all, it don't fucking move, it's solid as fuck. And secondly, you need a bit of spring in it to get it in and out of the set at the bottom if you ever want to take it off, like. So, there you go. So, we've got them both done. And now we're moving on to the chain go hard. <coughs> There's an existing mount in there on the frame, so we've used that. We're using a bit of 12mm stainless. I'm going to trim it off there, I think. And that should uh, should fit in nicely with what he's got. I'm going to try and figure out a neat way of joining it to the sissy bar here. Um, I'm also putting rear foot peg mounts on here. So I might include a, a little train guard coming off this mount. So not sure, not sure. And I'm going to make the back seat fit on the rack. Go and make it fit on and be detachable not bothered about what I do with the bottom of it he says so I'm gonna go for some nut certs I think and uh, a couple of fittings on nut certs like so we can bolt it off and on just some pinches 
just the pinch onto the existing so a little lever action like will do me I think there's no need to weld brackets on his rack and that is fucking tickety boo <laughs> on an aside Johnny if you're watching I've done a Kev me old I've fucking focused look at that I can't I've fucking TIG weld in and rolled the fucking finished off and weld, rolled what were left of the uh, welding rod through my fucking finger and fucking good old burn that is wow so chain guards tapped in place uh, I trim it off here now if I mention that in the earlier one but we've made a bits and bobs and we've got it all together uh, put the rear foot peg hangers on it's like rumble pegs I'll call them, so occasional use. Jump on the back off your fucking goat. Now what I've got to do is figure out a way of making this fit on that without fucking that. And then we're there. Strip down, weld up, fucking job done. Oosh! So, we've sorted the seat mount out. Fuck you now, that was a brainstorm session. We've got <clears throat> something that's not easy to do one-handed, but it is easy to do two-handed, and it's this stud and clip affair. So that clips over there. Sorry, I'm not showing it very well. Clips over there, look, and he's held. And then there's a stud hanging down the back, and <clears throat> we slide this plate up, put a nut and washer on, tighten it down. So, one spanner easy fit, dead secure, spotted, spotted, sorted even, fucking game on. So now it's a strip down and weld up, the sissy bar and the um, chain guard, and I'm going to lose this point. I'm going to shape that round and weld it up and clean it up, and that'll be that. So, that's job fucking done. Hey, right now, it's another week for me. Another segment for you. Next up we've got our Sean's, got him on the left. We're gonna change the handlebars out to some that are fucking massive. So we're gonna to need to extend the brake line. We'll make a new brake line. Um where does it go? All the way down. What's it yet? We need to make a new brake line and uh, change these cables. We've got a, an extension kit for the throttle cables. We'll need to extend the wiring on both sides and hope that the clutch cable reaches, which I'm not sure about, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Um, the first thing I think I need to do is get a petrol tank off so we can get access to the wiring and to the throttle cables. And because uh, there's a balance pipe runs between the two, normally what I do is clamp, clamp it and then put one end off and put a blanking piece on the open end of the tank. I can't clamp this because it's got this fucking uh, braided covering, which I don't really, really, really not a fucking fan of. There you go. I've had issues with it because you can't get on and clamp properly and tighten it up properly and so on and so forth. So, and plus it abrades everything it touches. Rubber's gone down. Uh, <clears throat> so. We're draining the tanks, so we can tear that pipe off, so we can take the tank off, so on and so forth. A massive gap under that dash, isn't there? Hmm. And while that's uh, draining off, we can start, we can uh, start, hello? <coughs> we can make a start on removing the dash, can't we? So, uh, that was just finger tight. Oh, and maybe a little short. Oh, that's that. That's that out of the way. <clears throat> so we need to split the tanks. I didn't realise they were quick bobs. Uh, fat bobs. I thought they were one piece, like mine. Um. Anyway, need to do that. Got the electrics there. Look, they're all right. So we can get access to them, we can get access to the coils. Sorry, the carburetor, fuck me. I'm doing very well with words today. Um, in the meantime, I've unclipped the wiring off the handlebars because we're gonna have to extend all that. 
aren't we? And we can start getting these controls off. So I'll start undoing them, unloosening them, uh, and get that ready. So we've got a seized one. I'm gonna have to drill that out. I've tried everything I've got. I'm a chisel, uh, fuck you now, all sorts. Impact wrench, the old fucking knock and twist job. I can't remember what it's called at the minute. But no, that bolt is fucking sea solid and I can't grind it because it's on a petrol tank on a finished bike like. Although it's looking rougher and rougher by the minute. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to drill that one out. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. There we go, there's the offending fucking Bolt, well, red ruster, which is stainless going into my old steel with no fucking copper slip or anything on it and left alone for fucking god knows how long. That'll do it. You can see it, interesting. Uh, this is all stilted up. Look, it don't fit. You know, that should bolt there. Yeah, these should be there. It's like, I don't know, someone's lifted the tanks up two inches for some fucking reason. There you go. So, anyway, maybe they needed to miss this. Don't know, not my, not my bag, is it? Not my, I'm not here for that. Um, what I am here for is sorting this wiring and shit out, and I think I can do it and leave that other side on, which is probably the best plan. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this fucking balance pipe is completely blocked. Uh, I would imagine it takes a very long time, but he gets uh, a very long time for the right hand tank to, to drain through into the left, so you've run out of petrol and still you've got off tank of juice. You have to wait for it to fill back up, park it on his side stand, and it would take another fag like, but I can't promote smoking, so I fucking walk around in circles for five minutes, waiting for it to fill up the left hand side. I'll have that pipe off and see what we can do. It might need replacing. The plot thickens. Right, we we'll come around the other side. So we've got the switch gear off, no worries. Uh, those handlebars are drilled, not notched, so they should have internal wiring, which is going to be a, an absolute cahunt to do. I'm going to have to work out how much longer this loom is, needs to be, and then I'm going to have to splice into it and leave this end off, yeah? Somehow feed it through the bars and so on and so forth. I don't know how I'm going to do the indicator wires because there's absolutely no provision for running them um, internally. Fucking stupid things anyway. I don't get why they're on there. Anyway, the issue I've got now is that these risers are, let's have a look, five and seven sixteenths of an inch apart. However, the skinny bit on these handlebars where the risers go is only five and a sixteenth so it won't fit these risers are coming out too wide so the difference is three eighths which means i need three sixteenths off this side all the way around three sixteenths off that side all the way around yeah that's next on the agenda i'm going to get the old bars off get the risers off and look at machining three sixteenths off the risers. Okay, so we've come up with a, a way of machining these risers. I'm trying to find the roughest looking. There ain't no roughest, there ain't no nice, that's the problem. The rough down the hole. Hey, um, what I'm going to do is the helicopter method. I just need to go and undo these. Bear with. I'll join you back in a minute. Right, I've loosened that off. We're having the helicopter method. And we need to take that 3 sixteenths off one face, so what I'm going to do is clamp them onto a bit of inch tubing as tight as a fucking can, basically. Which is quite tight, to be fair. Yeah. So, let's just see how that fucking lines up with the jaws. This, the, the inside, the other end of this is hard against that jaw, so if we put that in the middle there, it doesn't really make any fucking difference. To be fair, I just want it running as true as I can, so I'm going to 
tighten that up as tight as I can. Put it back in here. Okay, that's not fucking great. Some of these fasteners have had a fucking hard ride. Right. So we've got that. Now we can touch on that face, knock it out of gear again, like so, and we'll call that a zero. Now, let's just check the zero all the way along. Yep, back it out a bit. Start up. There you go, look at that. How fucking dangerous does that look? Now we're going to go half a mil, 20 thou at a time. Like so. And that's going to cut its way across. And if the stars align, and everything's all good, we'll machine that now, just feature. I'll join you again when I've either got less teeth, if that's possible, or a nicely machined riser. Right over on the last cup. On the last 20 thou. Um, I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick it up, but it's working extremely well. Uh, it's a very interruptive cut, and the lady's uh, shaking accordingly. The old light shaking like a shitting dog. I've done my best to balance it out, and I've uh, found the, the stabilising legs in until it's bad out until it's bad and set it in the middle so that's as good as we're going to get but we're on the we're on the m straight we're doing a nice little bit now just going to close in on that one inch tube in the middle which i would expect we're just going to machine very lightly as we come to the end line which is all right here we go run out a rise up we're just touching that tube look happy days so that has given us that. I think you can see it's given us a nice flat on there, which is where the, the new underbars, the replacement underbars, are going to sit. So, uh, knock that off, put that back in gear, and we'll have this off like this. Here we go. So I'm gonna need painting or chroming or finishing or something. Stop and growing the muster. I've just spoken to Sean and he's sorting that out. So I'll deburr like so. I'm going go on, get the handlebars on. Sorted. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of fucking copper slip on the bowls. So they don't see solid because there's signs of decay on there. I'll give it a quick spray and then throw ah, fuck it. Let's fucking do it properly like, you know, a bit of copper slip on there. And we'll get this riser bolted on. Cut with a cutout outwards, like that one is. Yeah, both of them. Happy days. And there we have it. I'm just, uh, look, we've got a bit of background. Confuse them with background noise. <laughs> Kettle on, dinner on. Well, lunch on. Balls on. Fucking hell, they're 18 inch plus three. 21 inch. Let's give it 21 inch. I've got to make the wires 20 inches longer and try and feed them down through the bars. Make up a new brake line and to make up some extended throttle cables not extended you know, they are longer than standard but they will not be made to suit okay so onto the cables i've made one up it's over on the bike um what i'm struggling with is i'm gonna have to reuse this because the return screws into the uh, into the switch gear body um but basically what i do is get the old out and cut the nipple off the end with a good pair of side cutters like this one. Look, which I'm going to really struggle to do one-handed. So we'll chop that off, 
like that. Then we pull it out like this. Hold on, bear with. There we go, it's got it, right. Now we just lay the new bit alongside it. So the old and the new together. Get the ends level, work away along to the end of the old and then mark that point which is there, look and we know we want 18 inches longer so go over to our tape measure put that on 18 inches we pull that out pull that out to the end like that trim it off, that's the outer done sorry, the inner done um, and then we'll do very much the same with the outer I'm going to try and free it from this adjuster because the new ones that have come in the kit Believe it or not, don't fucking screw in the same. It's not the same thread. These are metric, I'm guessing, don't I? Um, so I'm going to try and, try and sort that out anyway. So we've unwound the old from this adjuster and we've put the new outer in that we trimmed off. So now what I'm going to do is feed the uh, new inner through, which I will do off camera because I need two fucking hands. Yeah. And we've just got a little shoulderless nipple to give you. Which is oh, fucking tight and it's a throttle cable, it's not a clutch cable or a brake cable, so that should do it forever. But what I'll do once I've actually fitted them once. Once I've actually fitted them once. Yeah. Test fit, make sure it's right, solder these on. I'll show you how they go together anyway, hold on. Yeah, look, there it is. All threaded through. All fitted up. <clears throat> threaded through. It was really shitty fucking camera, sorry for that. So fitted in the old adjuster and fitment thing. New nipple on, tightened up to fuck. Let's just crack it out of the vice to show you. We don't leave any sticking through because it can rub on. You can see how that's fucking bit it. Because it's bent, he's not coming out of there straight. Because the force of the grub screw has cocked it over. Uh, which is good. Uh, we'll try it, like I say. We'll, we'll get test fitted. Um, not right now, because next on the agenda is the wiring. And what I've got to do, basically, is strip this sheathing off and then cut all of those wires that are staggered so the joints don't all line up. Um, and then add 20 inches on. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start this end, and I'm gonna stagger the joins from this back. Um, I don't want the joins halfway along because that won't give me enough. I've only got I've got 20 inches basically from here to where they connect. So it runs around there and comes along here, and it's 20 inches long thereabouts. So I need the joints to all be in that 20 inches, otherwise there won't be any wires fucking poking out, will there, to join up when I've pulled them through, so... That's next on the agenda, but I think that this vlog has gone on long enough. So, ow, bastard. Fucking long, that just snuck up on me. Fucking thing. So, I'm gonna call it, yeah? Thanks for watching, it's one of them. If you wanna see how I get on with the wiring, check me out on the next vlog. Have a great one, everyone. Uh, Check out my friends in the description below and the merchandise. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like. And we'll see you really soon.